Hey guys, Indy with Ultimate Tool Reviews here. I want us to do a quick comparison video between a mid-torque impact wrench and a more compact impact wrench. Of course, there's pros and cons to owning each one, uh, but if you're kind of like me, you're more of a, I guess say, DIYer, work a lot around the house, sometimes, you know, I gotta pull off trailer tires, pull off truck tires. I'm not a mechanic by any means, but of course it might apply to you if you're also a mechanic, but really, which impact wrench should you go for? Of course, you got both of them. Of course, no, no reason to not own both, I always like to say. So is one going to be more useful than the other one? Just because you have, say, more power here, does that make the less powerful one less useful? Well, let's take a look at these both impact wrenches quick. And this is the, of course, newer. Uh, this is the DeWalt DCF921. This is part of their Atomic line. I uh, got this one at Home Depot not too long ago. Um, they make a 3 8 inch version of this. This, of course, part of the same line that has that ultra compact impact driver I'm sure you've seen. Uh, very popular impact driver right now. And over here, I've got the Mid Torque DCF894. Got this one on clearance from Lowe's for about 70 bucks. Came with a, I think, a 4 amp hour battery and a charger. Pretty crazy clearance deal there. Now, at first glance, you're going to think, okay, yeah, this is obviously the more powerful one. It's the larger one. Um, it's, you know, it's XR. This one's atomic. But actually, this one puts out about 330 uh, foot-pounds of fastening torque. Well, this one puts out 300. So we only got 30 foot-pounds of fastening torque difference between these two. And the size and weight is quite noticeable in these. Uh, just looking at the overall head length here. We got almost a full two inches from front to back with the more uh, um, compact atomic one here. So that's just a, uh, a quick comparison there of size and power. But of course, when it comes down to features too, the newer model has a number of features where the older one is just more of a low, um, I believe that's just like a bolt removal mode and a high mode there. Pretty simple for the, uh, for the mid torque. But with the newer uh, atomic, We've got a few other modes, so I've got light control, which is nice, and I really love the new lights on these uh, Atomic models. That Tri-LED is really nice. But of course, I've got a, uh, basically a bolt mode there. I've got a lag mode there. I've got a mode speed one, speed two. So I've got four modes now, but a little bit more useful modes than just having a low, high, and a bolt removal mode on the mid-torque there. Now, of course, if you're, you know, kind of like me, you do a lot of DIY stuff, you're you know, maybe work on your truck, take tires off for once in a while. Um, both of these will do lugs without any issues. Um, this one actually saved me an emergency when I had to change out a trailer tire at a client's house that just went flat all of a sudden. Um, really came in handy. Really nice to have and be able to pull those lugs off really, really quick. And I had a, had the tire changed and I think, man, just a couple of minutes. I had a full-size jack with me. I always keep a, uh, a half-inch um, deep socket impact set with me in my truck, just in case. Always nice to have, of course. Um, but of course, you know, I keep the mid-torque at home. You know, having extra power at home, it's fantastic. A little bulky, you know, to carry this around with me. If I got to put it in a pack out, um, keep it in my truck somewhere, you know, it's it's pretty bulky to have. It's, it's pretty, pretty big. But of course, you know, I got it pretty cheap, so that makes it really nice. But what I keep in my, basically, my daily bag with me every day, I definitely keep this one with me. So I can do a lot of working with some big legs with this, driving into some big pieces of timber. Um, I can also pull off a lug, which is fantastic. So a lot of versatility in these new, really compact impact wrenches. So when it comes down to choosing between one, I mean, you know, depending on what you do, if you got more heavy machinery, say you live more in a rural area, yeah, you know, going with a little bit more power is definitely more useful to you. But if you're kind of just, you know, got to do a lot of different stuff, and you just need an impact wrench to work and be able to be stay portable, move around with you, be light, really easy to use. Yeah, a lot of the new, basically atomic, you know, the subcompact, compact impact wrenches, are just a fantastic choice now. Many brands make them. I know Milwaukee's got some fantastic ones. Uh, if you could find some more deals on some of the Milwaukee stuff, I'd definitely pick up a lot more of that. Um, same thing with Makita. They don't have a lot of deals on the, the impact wrenches where DeWalt's really, really hitting those deals home right now with all impact wrench deals. So guys, leave me a comment below what you guys think of impact wrenches between a, a uh, basically a uh, atomic compact and a mid-torque. 
Um, you know, of course, pros and cons to both. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but, you know, if it was my money, I had to pick one of these two, I would definitely go with more a more compact one. I'm putting out very similar power to the mid-torques now. Of course, so there's newer mid-torques out there putting out tons of power as well. But I, I just like the compact feel of this one. It puts out tons and tons of power already and uh, can really fit wherever I need it to go. Um, so, regard, guys, take care and uh, hope you enjoy the video.